and see here. In a bid to address Uganda's house deficit, Habitant Uganda has signed a memorandum of understanding with the government to address the challenge. The Minister of Land, Housing and Urban Development, Judith Nabakoba, highlighted government's efforts to address housing deficit challenges. Before we had one city, but now we have more cities as a country. And in the cities, there is a lot of urbanization. If we are projecting that by 2050, we could be having 70 or 80 million people. Remember that increase in population, but land is static. So we are looking at affordable houses, but going up high rate. Even my president is particularly focusing on that. For this to be realized, Nabakoba says, government is working on real estate's bill, which will provide a framework for cheap and affordable housing. Right now, we have also gone through the principles of the real estate bill, and we hope that soon we shall present the draft bill to cabinet for approval and thereafter to parliament. We are currently revising the national slum upgrading strategy of 2008 to make it work in tandem with the dynamics in the slums and also to the vulnerable persons. Uganda's house deficit, according to Habitat for Humanity, stands at 2.4 million, with an estimated 10 million Ugandans say to have no decent homes. It's against this background that Habitat for Humanity has launched a 2017 program for decent but cheap and affordable housing. The move is to address house deficit challenges by providing decent house units for the less privileged communities. And that idea of partnership uh, between our sectors and partnership with the communities uh, we hope to serve uh, is fundamental to creating a, the kind of success and the kind of world where every child in Uganda knows what it is to grow up in safe, decent, and affordable housing. We want to build 40 new more homes for the less privileged in this country. So I would like to encourage you, touch those pockets, get in touch with uh, our teams, Get in touch with the Rotary Club. Let's raise resources to build more new homes for the very less privileged children that are going to be part of this home and any other part of this country. Sada Mubale, UBC News.